bro. This is why you don't fuck with me. This nigga Erwin on a fucking who's Cody to all the niggas in the streets. And boy, I just put your motherfucking paperwork up, nigga. We all gonna laugh on this motherfucker about you. Nigga, first of all, let's start off with this. Nigga made a song about me. Nigga was hating on me. Nigga tried to give me blood. I don't care about all that, nigga. This nigga's a street bum. This the first, the first strike you I got against a nigga. Now, you got out of prison, been in prison, did 15 years in prison, went to prison again, nigga. You troublemaking street, nigga. Low-level, bum-ass nigga with no skills. You're volunteering around. You're volunteering at kids' schools and shit. That makes us have a big issue. I can't stand niggas. Like, let me just get it straight. If you're not a doctor, you're not a fucking lawyer, you're not a fucking, like, skilled man of of the community who's paid bills and got own homes and got shit to show and can teach other the younger generation, you shouldn't be around kids. That's the first no-no. The first problem with the black ghetto is we got too many bad influences around our children while the fathers ain't at home. Boop. That's why I'm tripping on now, let's get to it. Second problem I got with niggas. Street niggas who act like they street and they gang banging and they in the hood selling dope and they on SSI, ho. You on SSI. And I ain't got no problem with SSI, but you niggas on SSI can't get no dope. So that means that's what most niggas on SSI, they going, you want to find a real hater, a motherfucking real just motherfucking snake. So it's always going to be a nigga in the hood on SSI. You want to know why? Because niggas on SSI can't bring in no real income. Can't never own homes. Can't never have no big have big bank account, can't really have no stacks, can't really have you you can't drive a car like mine on SSI, bro. You'll get you 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 get indicted, bro. You get your shit took. You can't make no money. So you, these niggas hustle little kids and have little always trying to influence the younger crowds. They always in the hood. These niggas don't got jobs. So while we're all at work and, and handling our lives as adults, going accomplishing shit. They're in your neighborhood harassing your children. They don't got nothing and they influence your children to sit around and drink and smoke weed like them because they're retarded, nigga, and don't got no motherfucking jobs or nothing so they can hang around your kids and influence them like, oh, yeah, I'm a big dog. Bro, you in chains, wearing chains, driving Benzes, old ass shit, aged out shit, bro. You're on SSI. You get a fucking check. You'll always be in the ghetto. You Listen, bro, I used to date bitches, bro. Bitch be bad, super big ass, nigga, dime piece, nigga. Nigga, you feel me? Nigga, I'm like, bro, I gotta go. Bitch on SSI. She, I can't, a nigga like me who get bands, I can't send no bands to no account. Well, bitch get SSI. We can't open up no Amazon account and make more money. They kick them people off when, nigga, you can't. So, being around adults that can't build, it should be a no-no. Nigga, they ain't gonna let you be bigger than them. They gonna hate on you because, oh, nigga, you, uh, nigga, you could go get the scat pack, nigga, or nigga, you feel me, the Hellcat, nigga. They can only go get the Challenger. You see what I'm saying? So they mad at you trying to push you out the way, nigga, so they can be the man. It's really they want to be the man, but can't because you can't advance on SSI. You just can't. You're not going to be a millionaire on SSI, man. Period, point blank. You take this check for crumbs, nigga, and make it look good. You ain't got to do shit. Or you go be a man and get a skill like God said. Oh, my God. Y'all don't understand why I be tripped. I never tripped off these street niggas. I just live my life. You're not going to have a house like this on SSI, nigga. Come on now. No, no, no cap. If you know a nigga on SSI, nigga, making extra money and shit, bro, they'll go to jail for... Nigga, go watch. It's an SSI episode on uh, American Greed. Bro, they took a white boy to jail because he made a little bit of extra money. He was coaching his... He was like a good dad. He was like taking care of his kid, the whole shit. They caught this nigga making some little chump change on the side and... Made a whole show about him and put him in prison. Nigga, boy, SSI rules are very specific. These That's why these niggas will shy away from money, but they act like they want to get it. They want to be chains and big dog. You feel me? No, the big dogs really get the big dog shit. There's no limit. No roof on the coup, bitch. Uh, let's get to it real quick. Irving Cook. That nigga's name is Laverne. And, and this nigga, bro, first of all, 
I met the nigga because he had allegations. We all had allegations on it for fucking with them old park niggas. And they won't, when they don't like metal you niggas, he was helping them get to us and shit. So, nigga, when it came down to us holding it on, he was, nigga, he was their inside man, bro. That's what we was owning for. That's all I know of the nigga. That's nigga sucker, nigga. Come to find out, he started asking about me. This nigga's a Hogan side nigga. Never grew up with us. Nobody has no identification of this nigga being around us or fucking with us or anything. But on this paperwork right here, See, and then these niggas act like, see, like the, the all the all the older real men of you homies is on his ass now because they was like, you've been asking about Cody for about years now. You calling, talking about the other man. The homie just got, I just got cool with a nigga because the nigga was like, oh, that nigga Herb tried to act like he cool with me just so he could talk about you. Nigga, I had to check that nigga, but man, I, the, the nigga t had to tap in with me like, bro, the, the real niggas tapping in talking about this nigga talking about you. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the subject of this nigga's obsession. It's, man, I'm going to be real brief. I already told you a story about it. This nigga tried to tell on me in jail, nigga. This nigga tried to get me called up when I was booming, nigga. He used to be one of my workers, a disgruntled worker. A real loser, though, that nigga. I had to take the bag back from him because he couldn't handle it. Ah, get your ass out of here. But a backbiting ass nigga, if you know this nigga, he talk about other niggas. Man, that sound like a, a, a dick obsession. But nigga, anyway, let's get to it. The nigga, I guess the nigga made a song about me with his lame rapping ass. But let's get to it. The nigga, you're not from out of you. Um, Laverne. Ha! <laughs> Let's keep it real. On the, oh, see, because when you go to jail, right, you fucking with a nigga like this. Oh, let me tell you something else this bitch ass nigga did, right? Call a bitch and act like the police, nigga. To, to intimidate and harass her. Call the female and act like he was a police to intimidate and harass her, talking like he was DA and shit, nigga. You're a bitch ass nigga. You do bitch ass snake shit and don't face off with niggas like men. But you went to jail for not facing off with a nigga like a man. You feel me? And we got it all in your paperwork. But just to give the audience a speed up, you went to jail because, nigga, you came to fight a nigga. And the nigga was like, nigga, you didn't want to fight the niggas. You didn't hit the nigga. The nigga called you a bitch. Plus, he was drunk and being drunk, nigga. You feel me? But we going to get this put specifics of it, nigga. And then you, then you shot at him, nigga. <laughs> you, 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 you caught a fade with a nigga but didn't want to fade him. Right? You did. You, yo, you got a record. But I knew you was soft because you turned down my fade, nigga. Remember? And you was the type of nigga that always come back to niggas and be like, can I talk to you? Nigga, you the one who exposed drugs, nigga. Remember? Drugs told you to post some shit about me, nigga. And then I got on you, nigga. And you called me and got on drugs. Remember? But drugs was playing Irv already. When I caught drugs on the fire side and tried to beat him up and he turned it down, the first thing he tried to say to water it down was he tried to throw Irv under the bus. I, nigga, asked the homie he's standing right next to me. I said, I don't give a fuck about Irv or you, nigga. Fuck both of y'all. How about that? Nigga, because when I'm bouncing and tripping and shit, going this, doing this shit, nigga, I'm a man. Nigga, I stand on shit. But come to find out, we see what you niggas was really about in the beginning. You niggas was suckers and shit. You went to jail, nigga, and did 15 years, nigga. Let me get into the specifics because we got all your paperwork. We got all you niggas' paperwork, so make sure you niggas tuning in. All that talking about shit. Nigga, I'm a truth teller, nigga. Let's get to the specifics. You niggas is bitches. This is what I'm saying. Respect me like you respect them honkies, nigga. You call and explain to them everything, nigga. You on your own recording talking about me and Cody. I don't know you, nigga. I swear to God, I don't know you niggas. I seen you niggas briefly in passing, nigga. You niggas made it a whole thing like you could break up to me or something, nigga. Me and you is two different niggas. I ain't got I ain't got no job. You ain't got no job. You ain't got no job, bro, because you on SSI. I ain't got no job because I'm a real motherfucking entrepreneur, my nigga. I'm a boss, nigga. And I got the skills to prove it, too. I got everything that go with it, too. So stop, y'all niggas, stop comparing yourself to me and y'all low-life ass niggas. You see what I'm saying? Period, point blank. You'll never have a credit card, nigga, with $100,000 limit, nigga, a real limit on it, nigga. You on SSI. You can't go past a certain limit. Anybody around you can't go past a certain limit. You can't teach doctors. You can't put doctors in school, nigga. You can't put no motherfucking food on niggas' plates, nigga. You feel me? You in the hood hanging around all day, nigga, unskilled as a man because you on SSI, bitch, like a bitch. Nigga, before you become a man, nigga, you got to come to that plateau where you say, oh, I can't be on SSI no more because I'm going to make real bands. And they're going to be on your ass, nigga. But no, you niggas sit on your ass, nigga, and collect the check, nigga. You're never going to have a life like this. So why even compare yourself to that? But let's get to this gangster shit, nigga. Because it's saying here, nigga, it say you from CIB. The defendant denied being in the game. 
on 1210, look, they jail behavior. On 1210, on nine, nigga, they gave this nigga the max because he was a troublemaker. Came, got out of jail, came back the same day. Nigga, call another felony, nigga. Same few days, nigga. It's all in here. I'm talking fast. But I'm just so shocked, nigga, because, nigga, this the type of niggas that be dissing me. You put a paperwork and nigga, they some suckers from the gate. First of all, I ain't never did no motherfucking probation review. You know why? You're not telling yourself. Niggas, niggas ain't telling you they already told, nigga. These niggas be trying to get deals and all that. They're going to say, we're going to send you to a probation review. Where in that probation review, you have to explain everything in your case for this motherfucker to give you a, re give you a recommendation to get less time. Nigga, the probation came back. They was like, this big nigga, a bitch-ass nigga. Records indicate the defendant is a member of the criminally insane ballers. C.I.B. The defendant has an A.K.A. in the main jail. Killer Irv. Jail behavior. On 12-10-09, the defendant was involved in a physical altercation with three other inmates. The defendant was struck in the head and faced multiple times. Boop, 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 boop. Nigga, and the police had to say, nigga, and you talking about me to drag his fucking flame, nigga, for the whole motherfucking city? Bitch, I put on for the whole city, nigga. You know, you understand me? I went to jail and kicked everybody ass, nigga. Everybody was scared of me. I came on. I, the reason why I'm like this now, super square and on some square shit, nigga, I really went into the devil's motherfucking pits and kicked the devil up the ass. Nobody wanted it with me. You either when you tried to absurd me, nigga. Nigga, I'm really about that. You in here getting your ass kicked. Ain't no jail records for me getting my ass kicked, nigga. Getting rolled up. Let's get to it, bitch. You talking about you want That's why you turned it down with me, nigga. But I told you you was a bitch when I made you fight Taz, nigga, and I seen you hit didn't handle handles. How you niggas doing no handles and shit? I swear. I swear, Marty McFly. What are you going to do? Go back in future and get some skills on fighting, bitch? I've been doing this my whole life, nigga. I'll close my eyes and... Mac, mac, mac. Nigga, I went to jail for breaking a nigga jaw, boy. I was in there, nigga. Bro, I flipped the whole scheme of prison when I went in there. Y'all was scared of them zillas, nigga. I went in there and ate one of them niggas, and everybody said, oh, I can do that, too. And, nigga, they lost their structure. Because, nigga, I seen a nigga. I said, I'm getting on this, nigga. I don't care what you niggas. Oh, no, no. Them niggas all. Them niggas deep. Them niggas be tripping. Nigga. Psh, bah, 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 I was with that nigga in there whooping on Zilla niggas. All them Zilla old park niggas know me and don't know me. Act like they don't know me. Boy, you was them niggas sympathizing, nigga. You and Cool B's was rocking, nigga. You was rocking with them old park niggas. You was in there explaining to me why you an uh, uh, honorary Zilla nigga. Me and Cool Cool, we got family. We got the same. He fucking with my sister. Nigga, it better not be the sister in this case that was fucking on everybody that you went to jail for, nigga. You little troublemaking bitch. Well, let's get to that, nigga. You went to jail for over, over, and forgive me Instagram. I said it was his mama. It was his daddy and his sister from what we got in his paperwork. But we're going to put the paperwork online for you to see it be, and, and do whatever you want with it. You feel me? Oh, everything. This nigga said, I'm from the CIB. You telling, nigga? Gang ass nigga. So he got beat up by the Crips. Upon investigation, it was discovered defendant is a blood in a Crip dominated pod. On 410, officers discovered the defendant was in another M.A. cell. What was y'all doing? Fuck it! Nigga, they caught you in another. Oh, you like niggas a lot. Applicable rules for court probation eligibility. The defendant is not eligible for probation. Pursuant to 667C2. Rule number one. Probation ineligible. Additional criteria. Circumstances and aggravation. Yeah, nigga. And this is just your motherfucking. This is just one report, bro. It's just one report, y'all. I'm going to cook this nigga for y'all, man. This nigga's a clown. It's a cornball, brother. Nigga, 6'9", took another L, bro.